Hey there, um, just received this from Red Bean Designs, uh, custom made bases from Infinity. Unboxing, I have cut open the box, but I haven't opened it yet, so this is the first time I'm seeing them. Um, I designed them, I sent them designs, they laser etched them into acrylic for me, so let's see how they've come out. Uh, the boxing and the packaging, as you can see, is excellent. Um, here we have 25mm bases. All done for specifically the JSA faction. Uh, they have a peel back layer on one side, which I'm obviously not going to be able to remove because that's how these things go. But you can clearly see the etched design. And I'm just going to try and see if I can. get this off. And I was doing this with the idea that you could have an acrylic base with the design etched into it. You can see the design through the base and this will look like a hacker's icon so all of the miniatures will be sat on bases which look like hacker's icons. I've done bases of all sizes. Um, that's the JSA and the Japanese Sectorial Army 25mm infantry base. This is the 45mm base. Again, I'll just peel it off. But I think they're looking pretty good. It's all printed on, in theory, 3mm, but there's a 0.5mm deviation in the thickness of the acrylic material that they are supplied with, so that's something to take into account. But I think they've done a damn good job and they've come out really well. Um, I've got three forces worth of base is done here. We've got the Japanese Sectorial Army, which are these ones. And I think they look really, really nice. Um, we also have the Nomads here. Um, again, I will put one down just so you can see the etched side there. I haven't decided whether to have them etched side up or um, clear side up yet. Um, there is the JSA, the uh, the Nomad one on, on the ground. I think that's looking pretty good. Um, as you can see again I've got bases in all three sizes so I've got enough stuff to base up whatever I like. Um, I have been thinking that I might even try and drill it or dremel it and um, make it so that the feet of the miniatures sit so it looks like they're stood on the ground. Um, I don't know how feasible it is, the guys at Red Beam said you can drill it but um, it has a tendency to crack. But um, yeah, so I hope you think that these are really cool. And an interesting way of basing the miniatures. I also have um, Aleph Sectorial Forces, again has the uh, base etched and I've chosen colours of acrylic which are appropriate, in my mind anyway, for the different factions. So the sort of luminous green is for the Yuching in general. Uh, this, the, the luminous red for Nomads. And then I've used the clear bases for Aleph. Again, I think they've come up pretty well. And like I say, I just like the idea of having a base of Is there actually a material on both sides? Oh, there's actually material on both sides. I didn't actually realise that. Eh. They have to cut through one side, which is like a matte finish packing paper, and then they have the gloss paper which protects the shiny flat side. I'm assuming that's something to do with the cutting process. This is all done with um, laser cutting tools. And if you give me a moment, no, I'm not on camera doing this, but uh, it's being a nuisance. Uh. There we go. Ah, okay. That's a Totally different ball game. I don't know if you can see that very clearly, but we've got a transparent base. 
with just the ALF icon in the center and then a hacker type style icon around it. I'm just going to try peeling some of the stuff off of one of these so we can actually see what this is like without it on. Um, it comes up super clean looking. Um, also, the reason I'm doing this is because I didn't want to have bases which didn't match with the scenery they were on. It gets a bit frustrating sometimes, if you know what I mean. When you're playing miniature games and you have a really lovely base and you put it on a surface which isn't appropriate for the style of basing that you've done and it looks rubbish. You know, you don't want your grassy, foresty type bases in a dungeon. And so I was looking at clear bases and then I just thought, well, what if I could get somebody to make something for me which was a little bit more particular and um, this is what I came up with. And I think they've done a stunning job. So yeah, I'm just peeling off. I'm not going to do it to all the bases, it's just um, I'll do it to one of each faction though, just so you can see what they look like without the, the protective material. Yeah, I mean look how clean that looks. Um, I don't know how easy it is to see, but um, it's the etched side, that's the looking through the etching. I think they look really nice. And I'll do a, another one of these ones for Japanese sectorial army and um, I'm pretty happy. I uh, didn't know quite what to expect. Um, I did all the artwork for these in Illustrator. You do have to be able to generate vector graphic files if you don't know what that is. It's, um, it's a kind of file that you use in, well, Adobe Suite, it's Illustrator that uses it, but a lot of different software uses it these days. And basically, it takes all of the arcs and lines you draw and turns it into sort of mathematical equations. So that if you enlarge or shrink it, you don't get any pixelation. Um, it keeps the curves and arcs perfect and the relationship between the different bits. So there you go, there's a JSA one. Ooh. Edge side clean side and that's what it looks like on the surface. I'm really happy. Um, I did go for clear for Aleph. I did think about going for a frosted white but I decided, I don't know, Aleph's meant to be the really nice AI that um, does no wrong by human humanity. I'm just going to get rid of the box. Sorry about the shadow. Um, and so yeah. I'm actually pretty happy with how all these have gone. I'm just doing the 55mm base for 55, 50 mil, get it right. Um, I'm sure no doubt someone's saying something about that already. Um, so yeah, I went for three different base, base, base sizes and I got five 50 mil, um, 10 40 mil and 25, um, 25 mil. Just so I've got enough pieces so that uh, I can try drilling and I can mess it up and no doubt get it completely wrong and destroy loads of bases because apparently drilling will crack the bases as I said earlier but I'm hoping to be able to make miniatures look like they're stood in the world that they exist in and also make it a little bit more like uh, you're looking through the world through a head-up display. So there you go, there's a 50mm ALF. I think they've come out really nice looking. Um, I'm actually really happy with those. They've come out a lot more, a lot better than I anticipated in many respects. Um, I'm now humming and hiring about the designs, of course, because you know you see something in the flesh, you're like, oh, that could be better and that could be better, but I think that's just life. You always got to be looking for how you can improve things. So I'm just going to keep stripping off the covers just so you can see each of the bases. Um, what the hell? Not exactly taking much time. Um, I'm just using my nails to do this and shredding my thumb now. But you know, that's what it's like when you're taking bloody sticky stuff off of these things. Never quite as easy as you hoped it would be. Yeah, so again, JSA. 
with the JSA symbol in, in the center and then sort of the icons for the hacker type symbol around. I think they look really nice. I'm pretty happy. Because I want to see what the infantry ones look like. And so I'm trying to theme it so that each base color and base type is appropriate for the, for the faction, hence the sort of luminous green for the Yujing um, and the red for the nomads. Um, can't really do black but I thought with the half dense etched and half not etched it still manages to simulate the icon for the nomads there. Oops. Throwing stuff around. Um, so I hope that you will like these. I'm pretty happy and um, I hope you like what they look like with the miniatures as well because it's all fair and well having something like this made. I mean, they could always just be used as tokens, I suppose, but sometimes you, you have a great idea and you get the pieces and um, it's not quite what you anticipated. It doesn't work out quite how you wanted it to. The other thing with acrylic is um, I'm going to have to cut everything off of any stands. Like the miniatures, you know, come with their design for slaughter bases and... I'm not going to be using slaughter bases um, for obvious reasons. Oh, you see that one? I no, I just forgot to take some material off. I'm an idiot. Um, yep. <laughs> Welcome to the internet, I suppose. Making an idiot out of myself in front of an awful lot of people. Enjoy. So I'm actually pretty happy. These all look really nice. Um, guys at Red Beam were really great. I got in touch with them, I asked them and they were game for doing it. And I had to sit down and do the designs and I sent them some designs and they were like, ah, you actually have to colour code this for the lasers and that wasn't quite so easy as I expected. It was actually taking a couple of weeks just to get the designs totally ready so that they can be used with the laser. And when I first touched them, uh, tested them, uh, there was a one slight problem in that I hadn't taken into account that you can't stack objects, which anybody that's familiar with Illustrator will understand. Um, so you actually have to make sure that you, you can't stack objects because the laser will recut every line that you've put in. Um, and so they had a slight problem in the, the, the lasers were virtually cutting through the bases on the, the first test piece that they did. So I had to correct all of that, which took forever. But yeah, I'm pretty happy. We have bases for three factions that I'm going to, which well, in theory at this point should already be painted and based up. Um, this is just really to show you how I got it done. So they, they come like this with a, a backing on either side. The laser etch is cut through one side of the backing and you have to peel all the backing off, but look, they come out. And I'm really very happy with that. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed. Take care.